The CDC says flu infections are picking up across the U.S., especially here in the South. But it's not the only respiratory illness sending people to the doctor's office and in some cases the emergency room. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny explains. Respiratory infections across the U.S., including here in Florida, are keeping doctors busy. Baptist so Health Medical Director of Infectious, infectious Diseases, Dr. Shalika Katagaha, says there's currently a trifecta of respiratory infections impacting Floridians. So we're seeing a few more cases of flu and our RSVs hitting its peaks. We also have in the background some COVID. All three have similar symptoms and can only be diagnosed through testing. Dr. Katagaha says last year, we had an early presence of flu and RSV in October. This year, flu infections started picking up in late November and early December. The past week, 3.9% of healthcare provider visits were due to some sort of respiratory illness. And this is what we see in winter months. According to the latest CDC data, at least 1.8 million people across the U.S. have been infected with the flu this season. 17,000 of those infected were hospitalized. And so far, there have been 1,100 flu deaths. 11 states predominantly in the South experienced high cases of flu during the week of the Thanksgiving holiday. According to the CDC map, Florida was one of those states. Now, medical experts say that if you're sick, stay at home. Don't go to work and get your coworkers sick. They also say that if you have sick children, keep those children at home. Don't allow them to go to school and infect other children. Medical experts also say that hand washing is very important to prevent the spread of germs. Once infected with either RSV or the flu, a person can experience fever, coughing, and shortness of breath. If the symptoms are not addressed, the respiratory illness can go from being a viral infection to a bacterial infection, which further suppresses the immune system. That's when people get the bacterial pneumonias, and that's when you actually, you have a pneumonia, you can't breathe, you need antibiotics. And for some people, that type of pneumonia can be deadly if left untreated. Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station. Doctors are recommending people get the flu vaccine. While it doesn't prevent you from catching the flu, it can prevent an infection from becoming so severe that a person must be hospitalized.